So next we're going to mask our horizontal surfaces, primarily the top of our baseboards and the top of our floors to prevent any paint splatter from when, our, when we begin to roll our primer and our finish coat and for protecting both surfaces from any sort of paint. There's three different basic types of masking tape that I've seen as well as others. This is a basic generic masking tape with very high tack, very high stickiness, and it doesn't serve our purpose very well for painting applications. These two masking tapes, both the blue and the green, are low tack, low stickiness, and really do a, a good job of keeping the paint off the surface and, and ensuring we have a nice clean line. It's also easier to work with. For this application, I'll be working with the blue tape. And what I like to do is work with smaller lengths. Big lengths just become awkward and are difficult. So about a foot, foot and a half length is appropriate to work with. And we'll begin laying down on the floor. What I want to do is pull it taut and ensure that we're not on the baseboard, but at the same time there's not a gap where any paint could seep onto the hardwood. Once again, working with the same lengths and making sure there's no cracks at all. Don't struggle with the tape. If you don't get a perfect line, if it's too close, you can pull it off halfway and adjust it as many times as you like. The important thing is to make sure it's perfect and to work with short lengths. Now I'll mask the top of the baseboard. I'll start on the right side working with my same length. Work from the corner out and carefully make sure it's off the wall but without a gap and make sure this entire surface is down. Now don't feel the urge that you have to move the tape down to cover. Creating a small hood or roof will keep any splatter off the face and will actually be easier when the time comes to take the tape off after the paint has dried but not cured, which is usually about a day. For this application, I'm done with my masking. I've masked my horizontal surfaces, the surfaces that are going to receive a, some degree of paint splatter. And my suggestion is to resist the urge to mask vertical surfaces, window frames, any other things that you think you have to mask. My suggestion is to use a patient hand and a high quality two and a half inch cut-in brush for these surfaces.